guys, today I want to talk to you about 10 winter hair care tips. My name is Sharon, welcome back to my channel. Make sure you guys subscribe below and turn on notifications to get the latest updates. Okay, so let's get started. We are moving into winter, um, and with winter we get dry air. Uh, perhaps turning on the heat in our house causes this, um, but dry air can also affect our hair and our skin. As you can see, my hair is already starting to get a bit frizzy and drier. So these tips that I have are things that you can try. They may or may not, may not work for you, but they are definitely worth trying. The first tip that I have will save you not only time, but also money and that is to wash your hair less. Now whether you are shampooing your hair, co-washing your hair, using conditioner only, all of these products are actually removing your hair and scalp's natural oils. And those oils are actually very beneficial for your hair and your scalp. So wash your hair less. The number two tip that I have is to do more deep treatments or more deep conditioning treatments. Now how long you do these is going to vary. So some people say you should do it at least once a week, other people say twice a week. It's obviously going to depend on the situation that you are in and the condition of your hair. So you can do deep conditioning treatments in as quickly as five minutes, uh, you can go up to 30 minutes. If you apply heat to your hair, that's even better because it helps the product penetrate into your hair. Some people even do deep conditioning treatments all night long. I have found that personally for me, this does not work. Um, the product tends to dry out on my hair and I just don't think that's the way it's supposed to be working. Number three um, is trimming your hair. So I used to have very, very long hair. It was probably about down to my tailbone and I used to do something called search and destroy. Um, so I'd be watching a movie or a, t a TV show or video or something like this and it's a pretty mindless activity. It's very easy to do. So you would take a section of your hair and you twist it around. And as you twist it, um, the ends of your hair are gonna pop up. And anytime I would see a split end, I would simply cut that off. Um, so it is, it is mindless, it does take a long time. It is kind of satisfying to, to get off the split ends. You can also go to your hairdresser and ask for a trim. Though the issue with this is that if you're trying to grow your hair out or maintain length, um, when they trim your hair, they're not only cutting off the split ends, but they're cutting off um, the healthy ends as well. Uh, but definitely uh, getting rid of split ends is very beneficial. The number four tip that I have has to do with sleep. So if you are sleeping on 100% um, pure cotton, that is not the best thing for you to be doing. Um, cotton can kind of pull and snag your hair. It also draws out the moisture of your hair, which is something that you don't want to happen during the winter. It is more beneficial to sleep with um, silk or satin. Now whether you have a silk or satin pillowcase um, or you put your hair up in a bonnet um, or a tie or a scarf or something like that, that is up to you. I found that me personally, I prefer the silk pillowcases. When I have bonnets on my head, they don't stay and all night long, subconsciously I'm trying to keep it on my head um, and I just wake up with a stiff neck and headache. Um, the number five thing that you can try doing is scalp massages. So I mentioned at the beginning, the number one tip is to wash your hair less, and that is due to the natural oils that you have on your scalp. By doing scalp massages, you are distributing these oils throughout your scalp, and you can also draw them down the length of your hair. So you can massage your hair and kind of pull the natural oils down your, your hair shaft. Number six is avoiding certain products. So there is, um, there's a product called a uh, humectant, sorry, an ingredient, and these are humectants. So what humectant is, is it equalizes moisture. So it can draw moisture into your hair, um, or it can draw moisture out of your hair. But basically it's trying to equalize the amount of moisture in the air and your hair. Um, and this is not a good thing when the air is dry, like during the winter, because what the humectants will do is it's gonna pull the moisture out of your hair and into, into the air. So some examples of humectants are aloe, glycerin, and panthenol, and there are a lot more. And I'm going to <clears throat> link below, um, and it has to do with dew points, dew like D-E-W, like drops of water. And you can read all about humectants and dew points. The number seven tip I have is to add steam or heat. Um, and by heat, I don't mean heat styling, like flat ironing or curling, uh, curling your hair or anything like that. 
There is a product called the Q Redo, and I have not bought this, but basically what it is, is it is a steamer for your hair, and it's rather expensive. Um, I see that a lot of people swear by it. Some people don't think it's worth it. I'm going to link below, and you guys can check it out. Like I said, I do not own it. I do try to use um, heat when I am deep conditioning. Now, I don't own a blow dryer. Um, so what I do is I um, put my hair underneath a plastic bag <clears throat> and then I wear a winter cap on top of it. Um, so by doing that, I am keeping in the heat and I'm trapping the moisture from, or sorry, the heat from my head underneath um, that cap. There are also um, products that you can put in the microwave and you kind of nuke those for about 30 seconds or so and then you put that in your head as well. And I'm going to link to that. Um, as well. So it's kind of like a heat bonnet when you're doing deep conditioning treatments. You can also hook up your hair. So you know in those those old-fashioned magazines you would see all these women and they'd have like these big bonnets and there was a tube and on the end they had the blow dryer. You can use something like that. If you are going to use those, I highly suggest you either hack yours so that you tie it underneath your chin or you buy one that has a tie. Because if not, what's going to happen is you're going to turn on your blow dryer and that thing's just going to pop off your head. Um, another thing you can do is just take a scarf um, and tie that and tie that under your chin and then have that all on your head. The number eight tip that I have is to use more product, um, more uh, leave-in conditioner, more gel. Um, you kind of want to weigh down your hair a little more um, to combat against the static and the dry hair that you can have. The number ten, uh, sorry, the number nine tip that I have is avoiding regular towels, okay? So regular towels, just like regular pillowcases, are going to catch your hair and snag your hair. So what I use to dry my hair is actually um, my husband's old t-shirts. So I use this, um, it is just cotton, um, but the weave is very different than a towel. So a towel seems to have like little hooks on it um, that grab my hair and the cotton t-shirts do not. I know other people like microfiber towels as well. I personally don't like the feel of microfiber towels, but that is an option for you to check out. And the number 10 tip I have um, is the lock method or the LCO. So lock is liquid oil cream, and there's also LCO, which is liquid cream and oil. And basically what it is, it is um, a method um, uh, or a technique on the order that you apply your products. So for example, liquid could be um, water. Um, and then some people say apply an oil, you know, such as a natural oil, and we're talking about like argan oil or something, and then apply a cream on top of that. So that would be the lock liquid oil cream. And then with uh, LCO, you're switching the order of the cream and the oil. I have found that my hair is low porosity and, and it doesn't really respond that well to this method, but I know that a lot of people swear by it, so I'm gonna link to that below as well. So I've given you guys 10 winter hair care tips, and I wanna hear from you. What is your favorite winter hair care tip? What is something that you have found really works for you? Uh, make sure you guys like this video and give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications to get the latest updates. I will see you guys later.